Hey y'all, I'm Kayla with What's Brewing, and today I have with me Mr. Chubby Carrier. And before we get started and dive into that interview, let's go ahead and roll that beautiful B-roll. Well, hello. How are you today? How are you doing? How are you doing? Good to be here. <laughs> I feel like I normally would say for those at home that may not know who you are and what you do, yeah. introduce yourself a little bit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead and do that, although I feel like they kind of know Yeah, who yeah, you it's are. always good to do. It's always good to do, you know, because I'm still getting names and everybody's walking up to me and telling me, hey, are you so-and-so? I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. So I tell them I'm Chubby Carey. I'm from Church Point, Louisiana. I won the Grammy in 2010, but I've been representing Louisiana for a long, long time. So I've been around, I'm a native of Church Point. I'm living out in Doosan, Louisiana now. Oh, awesome. But uh, I'm always a country boy. I like to stay out in the country. That's just me, you know? I was in the big city last night, but it was too, way, too big for me. <laughs> Couldn't wait to get, to get back home. Oh, I had to get out of there. There's you know, a lot of things going on in the cities. You know? I'm like, <laughs> I'm a country boy. I need a little slow pace, you know? <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. I have two boys, full country boys. Yes, yes, so yes. So I understand that. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And how much, to, uh, <laughs> what would you say your Cajun heritage, how much do you think that played into the type of music you chose to play and playing the carding and picking up Zydeco. Well, I'm not much, much in the Cajun heritage, more on the Creole side okay. and the Zydeco side. Uh, but my grandfather, my dad, they all was musicians. They played at home all the time. And as a little boy coming up, I was eight years old, I would hear him play music and I said, wow, man. I tell my dad all the time, how are you doing this? You know, you got this big old card in your hand, you're playing music, I don't see a sheet of music. He said, no, 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 son, I'm reading music from my heart. I'm feeling the music. Self taught. It came from the heart and soul. This is no kind of, you know, read uh, music and sit here and then try to create stuff off of paper. You got to feel that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm watching them do it, but I was eight years old. And I was one of those little guys that used to go play. Back then, we didn't have all these PlayStations and phones to play with. We played outside. And uh, I was a football player. Uh, I love baseball, basketball. I was always out doing sports. We always all playing with my friends all the time, right? But my dad and my start this accordion up and I'm like here and I could be full of dirt and grass and I just say oh man I gotta go see this and I <laughs> leave the football jet out grass dirty muddy I don't care I go sit in the house and I watch him play my grandfather that was captivating for my you my goodness my daddy my, my my cousin baby and Calvin who played the twin fiddles to watch them make music happen right on our front porch I mean telling the story of what kind of day they had I was like, that is amazing. And to see them play these instruments. We had the accordion, we had fiddles, and the washboard. That's the music in Zydeco music. That is, that's yeah. the Zydeco music. And do you know how to play all of those instruments? No, I don't know how to play all of them, but you know, as a kid, I was trying to. You know how kids get bored, you know, we get to oh, play yeah. things. <laughs> <laughs> so I, playing instruments, playing video games, kids going, well, I want a new game. Well, I want a new, new instrument. instrument. That's what I wanted. I played the, I started off on drums, okay? Um, then I played the guitar. Then I played a little bit of bass, you know, washboard. Then I fell in love with this thing. When I got that accordion strapped on me, he said, this is my instrument. That's where your passion, that's where you really felt oh, the I passion, that with the connection with it. it. Yeah, yeah. And even though I, I, I played drums with my dad's band for, ooh, I want to say about 15, 16 years, but I still was playing the accordion, but I loved it. I said, one day I'm going to have my own Zydeco band. Daddy had his own band. My grandfather played it, music, but this only for a hobby. It wasn't his full-time job, or he had a band. But he played it after he got out the road. Um, he would leave. He was a sharecropper. Okay. He'd get out the fields and he said, man, I'm going to go play my instrument. That was probably his relaxed That time was his relaxed time. After coming out the fields. Yep. We sit back in there. We're going to have supper. That's right. was supper back then. And my grandfather would pick up his accordion. He sit down and he played everything that he had on his mind from that work day. Ooh, what a good stress relief. And he told me, say, son, I can't afford no psychiatrist. <laughs> he said, music is my, my medicine. Therapy. That was his therapy. He sat down and played his accordion. I can hear it in his voice when he's singing. You know, he was singing his troubles away. Not all of them was troubles. Amazing. That's touching. That's it, amazing. Yeah. And, and just watching him just singing his, and I'm singing the blues, and singing it in French. And I'm like, wow. So, so what kind of day you had today? Oh, that's the kind of day I had. But you and know, you can tell. You could tell by his voice and what was coming out. You you could tell what kind of day he had. You can hear it. You can hear it. I mean, this him by performing, playing his his instrument was just the accordion. And he said, well, I had a long day today, and this is what I feel like singing about. I'm going to tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been lovely to hear how you got started in your family history and mm -hmm. how it seems like it's a family tradition. 
And um, it is. I can't wait to talk to you more in part two of your interview. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today for part one. You got it. Thank you, dear. You're so welcome. If you like what you saw today, please click the like button, go ahead and crush the subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss a thing we have coming your way. Until next time, I'm Kayla, and y'all have a great one.